Welcome back everyone to this next video on creating scripted REST APIs in ServiceNow. In this video, we're gonna look at how to create records using our API using the HTTP POST method. We'll come back here to our original scripted REST API record and we'll scroll down and we can see we've got the two get resources there. So I'll just go ahead and click on new to create a new one and we will give it a name, create vehicles. This time we'll select the POST HTTP method and the path this time will be slash vehicles, similar to the last get resource that we created. Okay, so just remember that paths can actually be shared by different resources. So it's important to have a good naming convention. In the script, again, I've got a predefined script that I composed earlier. So I'll just pop that in there and we'll just talk through it section by section. So similar to the previous two resources, the first piece of the puzzle here is just to declare an empty array which will be pushed out to the object towards the end or at the end of the script. And then we go ahead and declare some variables, which will be or define what the API will accept as input. So when you're creating vehicle records in our table, we will accept make, model, VIN, year, country, and city, nothing else. If anything else is included in the request, it will simply be ignored, okay? So we declare those as variables and then we go ahead in the next section here and we need to actually save the request body and work with it. So the first thing is to declare a variable for that request body. We then convert that to a JavaScript string and then we go ahead and convert that to an array. So if we go a little bit further down, we see we've got this try section here, which we didn't have before, but I'll explain why I've included it here when we scroll a little bit further down, when we look at error handling. But in the first section here, and in the, in the try, we go ahead and assign values to the variables that we declared earlier for each element in that array. And then we go ahead and do a simple glide record operation again, but this time we're doing an insert. We're actually creating records for each object that we find in that, what was originally a JSON object that we've converted to an array. And then finally, we push out a confirmation to the user with the VIN and importantly, the sysid. We could also include some confirmation message there if we wanted to or anything else. But at the moment, we've just kept it simple. And then finally, at the end here, I've included a catch error section. There is an out of the box API that you can use for error handling in ServiceNow. I've included probably the most generic method for declaring errors here, the service error method. And I've just declared the status, the HTTP status of the request. If anything goes wrong, uh, I've set it to 500 and I've included a couple of error messages there as well. Okay, if you have a look at the documentation for defining requests, you'll see there are a few other methods that you can use here as well, depending on what kind of error you've encountered. Okay, but as I said in previous videos, it's really important to have error handling, well, in scripting in general, but also with your scripts in your APIs to inform the client, if anything does go wrong, what the error is and how perhaps they could correct it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and submit that. Okay, so now we're ready to test this. We'll come back to the REST API Explorer here, and this time we will select the new post resource that we've created. As you can see, it doesn't accept or we haven't defined any query parameters. And we've got the standard request format and response formats that we'll have in every resource. And then we come down to the request body because this is where we specify the content of the records that we want to create. So there are a few ways to do this here in the REST API Explorer. You can actually come here and just click on add a field and you know, add your values here. But if you do this, you really have to ensure that the object that you've defined in the script matches what you've got here because this is a very simplified object that we're creating. So instead, I'm just going to go over to the raw tab here and paste in a JavaScript, a JSON object that I created earlier. As you can see here, it contains an array called vehicles. Okay, and we've got two vehicles here. All right, so we'll just go ahead and click on send. Scroll down, we can see we've got the status code 201, which we defined in the script which means that's good. And again, anything with a two in front usually means it's a good thing. And then we'll come down to our response body where we've defined the VIN and the sys ID that actually confirms that we did create a record 
in the vehicles table. We can carry out a similar test in Postman as well. So I'll come over to my collection here and create a new request. Again, similar to the REST API Explorer, I will define the post method here, put in the URI. Again, it's the same one as the second get request that we defined earlier with slash vehicles at the end. There are no query parameters to define. I'll just go ahead and specify the authorization that we were using before, basic authorization, and we'll paste in the body here. In Postman, you'll just have to select raw as the format and then come down to JSON here and select that. And once you do that, you can paste your body here. Okay, click on send. And there we have it. Okay, we've got our response back. So now we've enhanced our scripted REST API to include post. In other words, we are allowing clients and external applications to create records in our vehicle table. So that's it. So hopefully you're getting the idea now of how we can use JavaScript and our APIs to take input from the request and then return output that they can then deal with. In this case, we've created a new record. In the next video, we're going to discuss modifying existing records in ServiceNow. So we'll be looking at put and patch methods, and we'll take a little bit of time to discuss the differences between the two. Okay, so see you then.